up guys it's Ruski here uh, bringing a tutorial on how to get pixel bender in CS5 so you can oil paint because I know a lot of people have been wanting to use the oil paint filter a lot since they want to get on this bandwagon bullshit and uh, start using that but uh, I know it's kind of late and the style is already starting to go out a little bit and it might already be out who gives a shit but uh, yeah I got a sexy cat wallpaper but <laughs> yeah let's do this alright you're gonna have a uh, download link to this right here it's called pixel bender it's a uh, plug-in for CS5 um, make sure your CS5 is up to date you can just update it even if it's patched or hacked or whatever you can still update it without it like glitching out on you or whatever you want to say but um I'll have it uploaded to Mediafire right here and it'll be in the description below but it's pretty simple after you download it you're gonna right click move it to your desktop just so you or somewhere where you know it's gonna be after you download it and you're gonna go to Adobe Extension Manager CS5 and you can't use any other one this doesn't work for CS6 and it's not for CS4 CS4's Pixel Bender doesn't use oil paint so we're just gonna put it in CS5 so you wanna right click CS5 and run as administrator you have to run it as administrator it's not gonna work alright it's gonna load this and you're just gonna go to Photoshop 32 make sure you go to 32 uh, this is Pixel Bender, but it's not. Uh, it doesn't work. This is the one that you get off Adobe, Adobe's website. And if you notice, it hasn't worked it's because it's a piece of shit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that piece of shit. And um, actually, that was the CS4 that works on CS4. But um, we're gonna put this. Uh, we're gonna put the CS5 Pixel Bender in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press install right here, and then you're gonna find it. And I have it on my desktop and. Uh, it's this right here, Pixel Bender Plugin P132 bit, should be 19.5 megs. Uh, it'll say installing. You'll have to accept the license. Um, wait for it to get there. It doesn't take long. I just have a really shitty computer. Press accept, and then it'll speed through it, and you're done. And you can just X out of that. You can load Photoshop. I'm just gonna run it as administrator just in case. I don't know if you have to or not. And Photoshop CS5 is loading. And there it is. And you can just open up an image. Um, I'm not going to actually do the oil paint uh, because I have a really crappy computer and it does usually crash my computer sometimes. And I've got it to work. We'll just. It's a picture of my friend's avatar. It's kind of retarded as hell. I took a screenshot of it because it's funny as fuck. But uh, you're going to get a filter. And you'll have right here under G uh, Digimark, which is already there. You're going to go to Pixel Bender. And then you're going to press Pixel Bender Gallery. This also has, it'll bring up this menu. And it'll have a lot of different things like Converge, uh, Fish Eye, um, to View, things like that but what you're probably wanting is oil paint so you're gonna go down to oil paint and it is going to look like that at the beginning um, you can mess around with it I usually turn the cleanliness all the way up and uh, put the stylization on about 6.09 and uh, yeah just mess around with it a little bit I mean that looks really retarded right now but you can mess around with everything else where it looks better um, but yeah guys yeah, that's how you get CS5 and uh, that's how you get oil paint or pixel bender in CS5 uh, it does work it's not as good as the CS6 one but it does do the job oh, sorry about the voice crack but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it works for you if there's any problems just leave a comment below and uh, just every time you download it if you download it just make sure you press like because it would really help me out and uh, if you ever want another tutorial on how to get anything, just make a comment and I'll try to get it myself and put out another tutorial. See you guys.